Hello Sagittarius, I am here today with a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So anyone with Sagittarius strongly in their chart could resonate with this message. That said, we're all different ages, we're all going through different types of experiences, and we all live around the world in different cultures. Um, so I can't guarantee this is going to fit for everyone, but hopefully there's something here um, that can help you along your way. I'm going to go ahead and get sh and get shuffling now um, and see what we have coming out on the table. And then once we're shuffled and we have everything laid out, I'll go ahead and begin. Um, Sagittarius, if you do not like the shuffling, just please move forward in the video to where the reading begins. I don't mind that at all. Sagittarius, what is the current energy for this group of Sagittarius people? For this group of Sagittarius, is what is the current energy? What is the current energy for this group of Sagittarius people? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy? Six of Cups, the High Priestess, the Hermit, and the Page of Cups. Beautiful Saggies. All right. What is Saggy stepping into? What is Sagittarius stepping into in the next upcoming future? The next immediate future, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, the next immediate future, the next immediate wave of energy. What is Sagittarius stepping into, please? What will Sagittarius be stepping into? What will Sagittarius be stepping into, please? What will Sagittarius be stepping into, please? What will Sagittarius be stepping into? Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. All right, Saggies, um, before I get started, I want to um, remind everyone that there is an extended reading after we're done here. That reading will go deeper into the energies, into a few of the energies that are, we see here. And also I'll take this same scenario and I will move it out and pull cards for March, April, May, and June. So we're gonna go out five different waves of energy or five months, not knowing that timing is is, really diff pretty difficult with tarot. So we're going to go through, go out five waves of, en of energy into the future. Um, Saggy, I haven't been, the last couple of weeks, I haven't been feeling, um, I, I've been under the weather, so my energy might feel a little different now. I should be back to my normal spirits next week. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Did I tell you I was using the wheel of the year tarot? All right, here we go. Let me get in here. Let me get in this energy. Honestly, I do feel like there's two different energies here. I feel like there has been some sort of new connection made. It's interesting that the Six of Cups comes before the High Priestess and the High Priestess before the Hermit and the Hermit before the Prince of Cups. I feel like there could be a Pisces type energy here and there's definitely Virgo type energy. I feel like the Six of Cups is attached to the High Priestess energy. 
This is a feminine energy of it, internal strength, of internal knowing, of intuition, connecting into the divine. This is an internalized um, energy of trust and faith and belief. High Priestess is a quieter energy. These are two quiet energies. Two very wise energies. Saji. I feel like there is some sort of a connection here. A connection to home or a connection to a soul. A soul connection. A connection to a certain type of path doesn't necessarily have to be a love affair that I'm talking about, but some kind of connection is being made here. And it's interesting that the Six of Cups comes out first. So I think this is an energy that revolves around a connection. It's an energy that revolves around a connection, a connection of the soul, a connection to the soul, family, homeland, people, a life path. A person, something that affects the soul, something that has a thread from one soul to another, a soul of a community, a soul of a person, a soul of a destiny, something that connects to the soul. Something that really, um, how, your breath, your breath kind of, um, hitches or what's the word it it uh it's affected it's it, it it something affects the breath the breath of the person you know breath is life something here that has to do with life and breath and who you are as a person so the six of cups comes first which tells me that there is a thread it is the thread that comes first and then we have these two different energies. We have the high priestess and the hermit. So there could be another person here that you're connecting in with. There can be a community that you're connecting in with. Remember these energies, any energy can go over the top. It can go over the top and filter through a person or a community or a family or even a place. It's almost like this energy can filter over the top and color a person a certain way or color and experience a certain way. So I feel like for many of you, you're in the high priestess energy. Now these, now you can be flip flop. You could be in the hermit energy as well. Um, but I feel like many of you are in the high priestess energy. That's the one I, my eyes are drawn to more. There's another energy, the hermit energy, Virgo type energy. This is an energy of someone who has experienced a great many different situations. This is a person who can take an experience and dig into it and find the value of it, see how they could possibly change from it, and then move forward in a very masterful way. These people teach in their life, whether they are teachers or not, this person could be a teacher of some kind. They teach in the way they walk. So they could lead by example, or they could teach in a more formal way. But this is a person who um, shines a light for others, either by the way they walk or the way they, or the way they teach, or both. It looks like there's new inspiration here around these two energies. So there could be a new introduction here. There could be a new feeling of inspiration and warmth. Um, it doesn't have to be a new, something brand new, but it's a revigoration, right? It's a, it's a, it's a warmth that comes in. Sometimes we say it's an introduction of someone and that could be, it could be an introduction of two people here, or it could be an inspiration, a feeling of warmth, a feeling, a feeling of inspiration that comes over both of you, or it comes over, especially the hermit, right? Because he's the energy next to the Prince of Cups, next to this new, um, inspiring kind of feeling. So this is a beautiful feeling, um, Saji, that I have here. It's a feeling of a connection, a soul connection. Um, we have a deep internal knowing. We have someone here who has the ability to um, find guidance and clarity within themselves. This is a quieter type of energy. There could be a little bit of a secret around this. These are very two quiet energies, quiet and wise very gifted energies, not 
overly broadcasting, not overly, they're not presenters. They're not, they don't shout things out to the world. They calmly sit within themselves and experience things in a very internalized way. Um, so this could be some sort of a soul path you're stepping on. You could have found someone or been introduced to someone who is, feels like a soul sister or a soul path walker, um, someone that feels very much like yourself or someone that is like a soul connection. It could be love as well with the page of cups. It could be like a, um, an aunt niece or an uncle nephew type of relationship could be two co-workers, could be two community members working together to help bring vitality and warmth into um, some segment of the population that struggles. But it's something here that's inspiring, that warms the heart, that brings in feelings of um, a brighter future. Two very beautiful, wise, connected people. Let's see what's going to happen in the future here. What will this group of Saggies do as they move into the future? Okay, we have the Page of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. We have Judgment. Seven of Wands. Six of Swords and Six of Pentacles. So we have moved from the threes to the sixes here. Well, as you move into the next few weeks, you're going to be in some sort of protective kind of energy with a seven of wands, some sort of advocacy energy, self-representation energy, defensive energy. Um, you're going to be taking action to make sure whatever has inspired you, whatever has brought you this new feeling of warmth and vitality um, and love and inspiration, you're working to protect um, yourself with that or protect that energy. Um, you're, you're looking into some sort of situation here that has resolved itself. You have these two threes. So there is an energy here as you move into the future of really looking, looking back. I felt this energy before today too. There's a looking back type of energy um, because we have the six of swords over the top of the three of swords. You could be protecting this new feeling or this new self revival or this new relationship or this new um, health that you find between two people, you could be working to defend it or to keep it protected from some sort of pain that has been around you in the past. Maybe there are people around you who aren't healthy or are um, in a lack mentality. Maybe there are family members around you who have caused issues in relationships before, or maybe there is an energy of um, people stepping into your space. Whatever it is, there has been an history here of some sort of hurt. Um, I, I like that the Six of Swords is over the top of it. So what it tells me is that you're seeing the truth of this. You're seeing why, you're seeing how, you're seeing what happened with these three energies with the three of cups and you're moving forward with clarity with the six of swords. You're changing something about what you're doing, right? You're changing something. You're moving on. You're leaving something behind. And I think it has to do with this messy kind of an energy. It's a messy energy. It's a feeling of unease. It's a feeling of unease that you feel when things aren't necessarily right. It's like you have a, a more powerful sense of your intuition, of the red, red flag alert system that's within you. And you are going to allow this, this messiness to step forward now into this new 
into this new feeling that you have, whatever that is, if it's a new relationship or a new friendship or some new health now that's coming over the two of you, um, whether you're already in a relationship or there's something new that someone new that you've met, someone, maybe somebody has even come back and apologized to you for something, whatever it is, you're defending that energy um, and you're being very watchful about this, this, this energy here is just, I'm not sure I really like it very much. See how uneasy you are about this? Look how you're looking. You're looking at these energies here. You're looking at it suspiciously. I think you're seeing the truth of this. And I think although it's been hard to see it, it's not a comfortable feeling to have to be in the Page of Swords. It's like it's, the Page of Swords is an energy. Well, unless you're a university student and you're learning, you could be learning about something. Um, but this Page of Swords with the Seven of Wands over the top, that's an, a Page of Swords that you don't willingly step into that. You don't say, you know what, I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to be suspicious. I feel like being suspicious today. No. You don't do that. We don't do that as humans. We wake up and we have some kind of nagging thought. We think this something about this doesn't feel right. And instead of saying, oh, oh, Jody, you don't, you just always thinking things like that. You don't really know. Maybe this is what's happening or maybe this is what's happening. But no, you wake up and you, and, and I'm just saying it from my perspective. I say, you know, I really don't feel good about that. I'm really going to take a closer look. I'm going to see the truth of what's happening here. What do I need to do to find out the truth? It's not that you're on a ven vendetta or however you said the word. It's not like you're on some sort of a mission to um, be snoopy and get into anybody else's business. This is something that affects you and it affects your own vitality in life. And I think that over the next few weeks, you're going to be defending here whatever you see um, that's happening between this messy energy here with the threes. It's a messy energy. So you have these sixes now, this new balance and harmony, this new equality that's coming forward in the next few weeks. We do see that there is a second start to something or a brand new start to something with judgment. So something is completely changing for you. It's completely changing for you here. Whatever this situation is with these people or with this messiness, with this kind of chaotic energy, that's beginning to balance each other out now. So whatever you're doing where you've found clarity and you're taking different steps here and moving off into a different part of your river or moving forward in a different way, that is creating equality in your experience. And you're going to start to see um, it, it really start to balance out now as you, as you step into this new into this new um, second chance or a new beautiful beginning that's here for you. It's a completely different thing too. It has a completely different energy. But in order for you to keep safe in this, in order for you to protect this, I think that there is some kind of truth here that you can see from the past, from this messiness, from people stepping into your space or knowing too much about your space or people violating your space. So there is a defensive energy here with the Seven of Wands. You're taking it active. See, they're, they're actively putting sandbags up to protect their property from the, from the storm. So they're taking action. This is you like taking action, um, and, and actively protecting yourself, protecting this energy. You're protecting this energy is what you're doing and moving forward in a different way, having clarity about whatever this is and about whatever this is. And this clarity that you have brings in equality which allows for this new experience to continue forward. So it's a good energy. Over the next few weeks, you're going to um, find a more peaceful way. You're going to have to take some action to make sure that you have strong boundaries, um, but you're going to be able to move forward in a much more peaceful way with these six energies. There's going to be new equality here for you, perhaps some sort of charity work or some sort of fairness that comes in relating to this Three of Cups. And this fairness here helps you helps you continue forward in this beautiful energy. Okay, let's look to see what the guidance is. What is the guidance? What is the guidance? Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Ten of Swords. Six of Wands. I 
I mean, it just feels like you're gaining your footing again. That's what it feels like. You're gaining your stability again. You're gaining a beautiful new experience. You have the six of wands here. This is stepping out into the community in a different way, right? This is not hiding anymore. This is stepping out. This is being seen, taking on a different persona, taking on a different role, wearing a different uniform, stepping up above the crowd and saying, this is me. This is what I am capable of. These are the skills that I have. And I'm taking on this new opportunity or I'm stepping into this new relationship saying, I'm claiming it. It is mine. See me now. I'm no longer invisible. I'm being heard. I'm being seen. And I'm living within my own vitality and my own passion. Six of Wands. This is something that, this is an energy that's respected. This is an energy that inspires people. There's something here that you've been through in your past with the three of swords and different energies that we see, different hints, hints of some kind of turmoil, pain of the past. And this has not been um, something that's short term. Ten of swords is something that's usually somewhat, um, it feels long. I, I can't really tell you how many years or how many months, but it feels like a long time with the Ten of Swords. So there's there's some sort of new um, foundation that you're finding again. You're finding your footing again. You're stepping forward into some sort of long-term legacy type, type of energy. This is comfort. This is protection. This is financial abundance. This is feeling comfortable and safe in your life where you're not worried about money. You're not worried about danger. You're not worried about devastation. You have the energy and you have the space in your life to enjoy moments where you're not always feeling like something is breathing down your neck or somebody from the side is going to come in and take something from you. There is a feeling of safety and security here. So whatever is happening with you, we see that there is an ending to a long period of suffering and you gaining some sort of long-term stability now back into your experience. And you're stepping forward into the community in a new way. Take it on. You know the skills that you have. You know your capacities. You know your value now. You know what your superpowers are. Right? And you know how to really stand in those and to move forward in those. Can you take challenges that come your way? Absolutely, you can. Do you know that you, as you step forward into this new persona or this new you, that you will have challenges that come your way? Absolutely, you know that. Do you know without a shadow of a doubt that you can um, conquer any type of situations? Absolutely, you do. You know that you can resolve any kind of challenge that comes your way. And this new footing and this foundation that you have that's coming along now is going to help you to do that. Okay, Sagi, it was a clear reading. I don't have as much strength as I normally do. I'm going to go ahead and move to the extended now, and we'll dig deeper into some of these energies. Um, I am going to definitely dig into this page of sword, or the page of cups energy. I want to dig into the six of cups energy as well. Let me think here what I'm going to do. I kind of want to know what these people say, but I have so many energies that I, there's a, there's, there is a fun in looking into some of the more inspiring, the more exciting energies, but I also think there is some value in looking deeper into some of these energies like the six of pentacles. I want to dig into that. I really do. I think that could be helpful to dig into that energy. I think I want to dig into the six of wands. Oh, look, the three sixes. Oh, that's so interesting. Let's dig into these harmony, this harmony and balance energy and see what we can find. And let's look at this new feeling of inspiration to see what comes forward in that. All right, so once I'm done looking into these four energies, then I'll take this situation and move it through March, April, May, and June. All right, so that's the extended. All right, Sagittarius, thank you for listening. Um, I should be back to my top 
top quality next week um, for the next batch of readings. And until then, I wish you all um, a beautiful week ahead. Thank you very much, Sagittarius.